I had the worst trip of my life that scared me off of any psychedelic. Even 0.5 grams of psilocybin I won't take. This has given me PTSD, it feels like, and there's nobody I can talk to about this, so here I am. This story needs a backstory before I can get into the actual trip. I had recently, before this trip, took 5 grams of mushrooms that were a different strain. I was going to be alone, so I thought I could chill and vibe and not have anything chaotic happen, as it did in my last trip report I posted. I was second guessing myself a few days before the trip was supposed to happen. My gut was telling me that I shouldn't trip, but I bought the shrooms anyways. The day of taking them, I was really second guessing myself and if I should trip. Nighttime comes, and I am on the phone with my buddy Alex when I prepare and take the mushrooms. I ground them into a fine powder and put them into a shot glass and saturated them for 15 minutes in lemon juice before taking the shot. I remember taking the shot and immediately regretting it. I started getting anxious, but I've been here before. I worked on calming myself down. My buddy tells me to look up the Tucker Zone on YouTube and listen to it. It's a 3D sound video, so it travels through the different speakers in my headphones and such. Alex tells me to turn it all the way up and listen. Within the next 30 to 45 seconds, there is a banging on the door in the video. I thought this was my parents, so I flew my headphones off and went to the door. Nobody was there because I was home alone. I immediately got sick and started thinking I took way too much. Alex is working while all of this is happening and says he has to go back to work, meaning I was by myself. I remember trying to sit down and watch Rocket League to chill, but it all felt so overwhelming. This next part is a bit TMI. I start taking my clothes off to cool down because I was so hot and sweaty. By this time, my fan is full blast and I'm just in my underwear in front of my fan, crying and sweating because I am alone and I want this to end. I was tripping so hard. I call my friend in a panic because the visuals kept getting worse and worse and they felt like they wanted to kill me, but he never picked up. I then run to my trash can and force my hand down my throat. I, at one point, was wrist deep in my throat and it felt like I was going to pass out from the lack of air. I spent 10 to 20 minutes forcing my hand down my throat, hurting it from how violent I was being. I felt like I had nobody and the one person I did put me here. I'm trembling and shaking, crying my eyes out because it's just amplifying more and more and I had no one. I went to my bed and laid down and closed my eyes to try and sleep. For a few seconds, there was only black, which gave me relief, before being met with a 3D clown head. This clown's head was made of red squares and looked like the old it clown without the big forehead and his head stretched back. This clown's head started spinning with all these red patterns and jester faces going around it as its head rotated. Every trauma and insecurity I forgot about was thrown in my face for me to see and nowhere to run. I felt so helpless and just wanted out. My best friend passed away in 2020 from suicide and all I could think about was her and her untimely death. I didn't want to be here anymore. I felt like I was going to die a horrible death and never be able to get out. I wanted to end my life because I just wanted out so bad. I am a depressed person, but I don't have suicidal thoughts or tendencies. I felt so betrayed by my friend because I thought I could trust him. The visuals kept getting worse and worse. It felt like I was constantly awaiting doom and death. It was so scary, even typing gives me chills and sweats and freaks me out. I called everyone I could in my contact list, but my phone felt like it was just going to hurt me and I could barely use it, but I knew that was the only help I had. I started getting loops on top of everything and started to question who I was. Everything was so intense, no words can truly describe it. I went to the bathroom because I had to pee and I remember seeing my face. It was so scary and hurtful looking. I ended up getting stuck in the bathroom, looking into my pupils when I felt like I got taken to a void and trapped there, but I don't know for how long. It had to have been towards the end of my peak when I got out, 
because my visuals were pretty intense as they had been, but not for much longer. From here, I chilled out and tried to understand my night. I don't talk to this kid anymore, and I still struggle every day because of this trip. I feel alone now, like I did then, and I don't know how to help myself because the life I'm living now fucking sucks because of this trip. I don't want to talk to my parents because they wouldn't understand, but I genuinely need someone to talk to. It's made me so nervous of psychedelics, even though I know they're not all bad, but I am so scared. To this day, whenever I think about that night, I get sweaty and anxious. Sometimes, I get chills down my back as well. I once ingested 16 grams of shrooms four years ago or so, and what I saw was so bizarre. For context, at the time, I was going through a rough patch. My older sister had died of cancer less than a year ago, my wife had committed suicide three weeks prior, and her children had been taken away by CPS, or CFS, depending where you're from. So I was completely alone, and in a very rough patch. One element to remember is the words, show me the real world, a sentence that was said to me by the man who sold me the shrooms. So I took the bag of shrooms and went back to my apartment, which was in the basement of a mansion. I sit on the couch and decide to start munching on these. I think to myself after ingesting half the bag, 30 minutes in, I don't feel anything, so I take the rest and finish it off. Less than an hour later, the world started melting before my eyes. For the longest time, at the very start, it was an immediate sense of relief and happiness, a type of joy that was so pure and energetic. It was as if my mind shut off all the extra weight in it and I felt lighter than ever. I couldn't control my laughter. The characters from the TV seemed to be jumping out and making weird faces, talking funny, but I could still understand English and what they were saying. The lights seemed to become wavy and sort of dance with the shadows. There was a lot of geometry around me, especially on the ground. My fingers and my limbs seemed distorted to me. That's as far as I remember of that so I smoked weed at first when the effects weren't as strong. Then, after enjoying the sights, it seemed at moments that small figures were darting around. I could hear sounds or voices. It was jumbled. I thought back, somehow, to the man who sold me the shrooms and uttered the words I wish I hadn't. Show me the world for what it truly is. I want to see the real world. That was the start of the rabbit hole. The descent or rise, whatever you want to call it. It was as if a curtain dropped before my eyes. Literally, imagine someone grabbing the two lower corners of a curtain or tablecloth and pulling it off really fast. A few hours later, I came back to it. I blacked out for some time, woke up in my bed, phone in one hand, speaking frantically to my friend in another city. I was telling her I was going to die, panicking, and genuinely being frightened. Then I got stuck in a loop as I talked to her. I'd put the phone down, lie down, got up, look at the open door, sit down, put the phone down, lie down, and then get up again. She seemed more like a holograph than a video. I could see all her features, like she was embossed on the screen, moving, and really bright, instead of inside the device. Then I had my first ever encounter with the beast and my wife. Remember that my wife had passed just three weeks prior. Imagine the most potent, dominating voice vibrating within your head. That shape, that black mass, reached the ceiling in height and was so wide, but it floated. It didn't speak with words, but right into the mind. It showed me my wife, who stood by silently and glared at me intensely, repeating over and over that it was going to kill me and bring me in like it did with her. It threatened my family, said I would never see the kids again, everything very negative. It honestly felt like it was wrestling me to get a hold of my mind and spirit. I freaked out, and at this point, I don't know if I dropped the phone or what, but the phone was gone. Who knows where? Meanwhile, I'm still trapped in a loop, just shorter. I keep sitting up and lying down on the bed. I speak into my mind and say I'll call the police, the ambulance, something, because I think I'm genuinely dying at this point, 
or I'm just about to. This creature speaks into my mind and tells me that if I do that, it will possess my body and murder anyone who tries to come in, and I completely freak out. Then my loop broke, and I just sat up, speaking into my mind with this thing. I don't know how long I sat up at the edge of my bed, still staring at this beast and just communicating with it. I don't know if it was the phone, the TV, or what, but it wasn't only its voice. There seemed to be a mixture of voices, both male and female. They came together, but it didn't make any sense at all to me. Its voice only came through, clearer and more potent than the rest. Another blackout, and when I came to it, I was back on the couch where I'd started off at first, staring at what would have been the TV. Instead, it was a big pile of moving colors that just went in and out of the screen. I tried to speak, but it was like someone grabbed my words out of my mouth and tore them apart. That's the best way I can describe any of it. It was like my voice was breaking into segments in the air around me, and I could hear each piece break apart and get distorted. The same happened to the words from the TV. I am a man who can speak five languages in my day-to-day -day life, but I could not understand a single one of them at that moment. They overlapped, blended, broke, and stretched. Nothing could be understood. After that point, I remember seeing strange little creatures again going on from the living room into the other bedroom. In a line, they glowed blue for some reason, but were no higher than maybe eight inches at the very most. I never turned on the light in the room. It felt like the night had a light of its own and stared at the corner where they went in for who knows how long. For some time, I sat there in the dark, empty room with the window open, watching the shadows dance and drip. I don't remember what came next, I just know I woke up in my bed the next day. I had taken the shrooms at 8pm the night before and it was around 1-2 to 2 when I woke up. This was one of the craziest, most intense trips I've ever experienced. During this last summer, I had a job building stages for a local company, and I was around a lot of drugs I had never done before. I had done acid a few times before, but I wasn't really into it as much as I am now. It was the summer, and we had just got done doing a county fair in Wisconsin. Nothing much really happened there, but they did make us work our asses off, and didn't even pay us overtime, which I thought was kind of bullshit. My friend had scored some acid off of someone he met at the fair, and gave me one tab. Now these were gel tabs, so they were quite potent. I took it on the ride back to my house in Iowa. Nothing really eventful happened during this trip, probably because I took a Xanax before I started tripping, but I pretty much listened to music and vibed the whole ride. Once we got back to town, we went to my friend's house. I didn't know this at the time, but the friend that got me the acid also had some shrooms he was trying to sell, so I bought them. He charged me 60 for an eighth, and I was pretty pleased because they were mostly caps. So I went upstairs and fried them up and mixed them in with some ramen. Side note, this is the way to go when eating shrooms. You don't taste the nasty flavor at all. After I made the shroom ramen, I went downstairs to my friend's room to eat them. 30 minutes after the dude that sold me them left, so I was left with my two other homies, but they were pretty tired from the acid trip and didn't take the mushrooms with me. I ended up watching a little bit of Doctor Strange, and that's when the trip really started to kick in. My friend next to me was watching it with me, and I started to notice the walls were moving like one of the canopy tarps from the festival I was doing. Then the scene where Doctor Strange has a DMT-like trip played, and that really tripped me out. Everything else in the room faded, and it was like I was living the experience. I started to get really nervous, so I decided to go to bed. My friend didn't have a lot of places for us to sleep, so I had to sleep in a recliner, which was the worst place to try to sleep during the trip, which I know now. As I was falling asleep, I started entering a dreamlike state with mild hallucinations. I could see people building a stage walking past me with pillars and other stuff to build the stage. I was an orb, kind of like those scary ghost videos you see online, where they capture an orb on the camera and say it's a ghost. I don't remember what happened after this, but after a while, I ended up in a long hallway full of doors as far as the eye could see. If you know the creepypasta about the back rooms, it gave off the same type of vibes. 
I opened one of these doors, and it seemed to be some kind of portal to a different dimension. Upon going into the door, I was put in the body of a different person's life, and I could control the things they said and did. I was going wild, going into dozens of doors to see what experience I would get next, but it really got scary when I would start to notice that I was losing consciousness and thinking I actually wasn't the person whose life I was living. I snapped out of it and awoke from this dreamlike state, but when I woke up, the whole room was shifting back and forth like a bagpipe. I started to come down, but I had the weirdest feeling in my body. It was like a pain I never felt before. I remember I started compulsively rubbing my body to try to get it to go away, but it wouldn't go away. At this point, I was in and out of sleep and I kept walking up to rub my body to try to stop the pain. My friends woke up and then everything was normal, I just wasn't tripping anymore. I told them about the trip and they thought it was pretty cool and even though it was kind of scary, I thought it was sick as fuck because not a lot of people get to experience anything like that. The fact that I got to be anyone I chose was probably the coolest feeling in the world. Life pretty much went back to normal after that, but I will remember this trip till the day I die and hope to have another one like it. I don't know if other people will find this trip creepy or scary, but honestly, I thought it was cool and I wanted to share. I hope you enjoyed the story. It all began on a Saturday night when one of my friends, let's call her Summer, invited a group of friends and I to a party she was having and told us to bring alcohol and weed, as we usually did. Anyways, I get to the party and we were all hanging out, drinking, and smoking. When we eventually ran out of alcohol, we all texted our dealers to see what we could get when Summer found someone who could bring us some more weed and alcohol. The dealer shows up, comes inside, and hangs out at the party for a bit trying to sell all the drugs she had on her. Well, big mistake, my friend, who we'll call Chloe, decided to take some acid and some coke. We all tried to stop her from taking the acid, but she grabbed it and swallowed it. That's when I'd say about 30 minutes later, Chloe and I are talking and I'm asking how she's doing, when all of a sudden, she drops back and her eyes roll to the back of her head. I reached over and felt her pulse and it was crazy high. My friends and I knew we had to do something, so we took her into the bath and ran cold water over her face to try to bring her back. After about 30 minutes of this, she started responding and moving, so we helped her dry off. That's when Summer comes in and shows us a bag of shrooms she had just bought. My friends and I knew it was probably a bad idea since we weren't in the best mindset or a comfortable place, but we decided to take about an eighth each and sparked up a blunt as we usually do when we would trip. Although I don't really remember the shrooms kicking in, I remember feeling really uncomfortable in the bathroom and started getting really hot. And that's when it full on hit me. I felt like I was melting. Everything I looked at around me started to melt. And that's when I started to come back just to tell my friend Savannah that I needed to get out. She takes me to the room and when I think the trip starts to get better, I go to the bathroom where most of my friends were. That was the biggest mistake. I don't remember what happened after that, but I remember waking up in the room again and then I closed my eyes just wanting the trip to end. That was the worst mistake I could have made. I closed my eyes only to see a forest and I am amazed by what I'm seeing. As I start walking through this forest, I see what looks like a human morphed into a tree and what I can only describe as being in the presence of a god. Instantly, I am shot back into reality and then boom, I black out. And it was at this moment I was presented with utter fear as I could only see black. And that's when I started to forget everything I have ever known. I forgot where, who, and what I was on. I was just a mirror shell of what I was. And it was at this moment that I shot back into reality again and I asked my friend what I was on and if it was my first time. To which she reassured me I was on shrooms and I would be fine. The rest of this trip was me blacking out and coming to, screaming, Make it stop! As a recommendation to anyone doing shrooms, don't mix your drugs. <laughs>